Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today, as you can probably tell, we're in The Sims 3 in the very mysterious looking world of Midnight Hollow. So in my last video in The Sims 3, we were looking at sunlit tides, we were exploring that world with Daniel and Mary Sue Pleasant. And I asked you guys to let me know in the comments which world you would like me to explore next in The Sims 3. And there seemed to be like a 50-50 split between Midnight Hollow and Monta Vista. So, I decided to download Midnight Hollow and we're going to explore Midnight Hollow today. I have the gold version, so there is like another lot. I think it's like a toy shop that we're going to take a look at. And then probably next week or the week after, we'll also take a look at Monta Vista as well. Because those were the only two that seemed to keep coming up. So I figured, let's explore both of them. So these are the Sims we're going to be playing with. This is Scylla Red and her girlfriend Daphne. They're doing quite a lot of uh, PDA at the moment. And they have just moved into the, what can only be described as spooky world, of Midnight Hollow. When I go to view the map, everything is incredibly dark. So let's just take a look. This is the first time I've seen this, um, this map. So I can see over here we have like a little nook over here, a fishing spot. And a beach. What's it called? Bizarre Beach. Maybe we'll have to check out Bizarre Beach. And then Sombre Beach over there. A bookstore. We have this stadium over here which looks very historical. Looks like a Victorian stadium. Then it looks like we've got the town centre in the middle. There's a cafe, a park, a pool. Well, they got plenty of cafes it looks like. A furniture store. The Golden Ticket Toy Shop, that was the extra lot that I think came with the gold version, so we're going to take a look at that. Oh, there's a pub over here! Oh, well, obviously, first stop, go and visit the pub. It's got to be the first thing we do at 10am. Come on, Daphne, we're going to the pub. Let's go. Chop, chop. These clothes are not from Midnight Hollow, I just saw them on the Sims 3 store. Because the, the Sims 3 store is a bit annoying, like you have to buy Sim points. You can't just, and you can't just buy, like, the amount of sim points you need for a world. So I ended up um, having loads of sim points left over, which I was going to use to buy Monta Vista. But you can't buy that with sim points, you have to buy that with real money, just to be confusing. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, I had a load of sim points spare, so I bought some circus-themed clothing. I figured it would be fitting for, like, the eerie aesthetic of Midnight Hollow. Who's this chappy over here? Julie Wheeler. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, Jules Wheeler. Jules Wheeler. Sorry, Jules. Not Julie. Apologies. Spooky painting. So I've come to this pub, but no one seems to be serving here. This is like what happened at Sunlit Tides when we went to the cafe. No one was working there. Is this some self-serve bullshit? Oh. This is quite a nice pub, though, to be honest. I'd actually quite like to come here in real life. This would be a great place to have a drink on Halloween, wouldn't it? Now, before we start playing too much with this, I will quickly read you some information about this world. Because there is a certain someone that I'm hoping to meet. That's right, it's Olive Spectre. It's rarely sunny in Midnight Hollow. Hello there, friend. Are you sick of feeling out of place? Sick of feeling bad that there's no one around like you? Sick of those smiling neighbours telling you to enjoy the sunset in the valley? Then come to Midnight Hollow, where it's good to be one of a kind. Life is hard, and people will always have something to say about you. All of her husbands die mysteriously and suddenly. Or, I think his son was fathered by the Grim Reaper. Or, I'm pretty sure she's a murderer. Where do they come up with this stuff? I moved here to get away from the normal life to find a life that's normal for me. Let them have their starlights and shores. I'll take my century-old Victorian mansion, eerie landscape, and interesting neighbours every time. Here's hoping you're next. I mean, being my new neighbour, not the whole murder thing, FYI. See you at Midnight Hollow, Olive Spectre. So that was a nice little introduction to what we can expect here at Midnight Hollow. It seems that no matter what time of day, it's always going to have a bit of a gloomy look to it. And I'm hoping that today we will bump into Olive Spectre. Before I do anything else, I want to take a look at the, the toy store 
that I had to play separately that comes with the gold version. Come on, Daphne. Adventure awaits at the toy shop. I wonder what kind of toys they'll be selling. Maybe voodoo dolls. Maybe spell books. Oh, I would love to get some spell books. Oh, it looks like it's just normal toys. Wow, this place. Wait, let me take a look at it properly. Oh, wow. This build is quite impressive. You got your spooky carousel, your weird chest nutcrackers and weird baby things. Yeah, quite a <laughs> peculiar shop. These things are fucking terrifying, aren't they? Wow. Jesus Christ. Imagine having that at the end of your bed. You wouldn't sleep. So I guess it's like a creepy toy store that sells odd toys. Okay, and these are your little work benches, I'm guessing, where you're halfway through making your toys. Oh, that's a nice detail. I appreciate that. Oh, there's the toy shop owner. Hey there, buddy. Should we buy one of these weird baby things? Buy classically creepy doll. Yeah, let's buy one of these classically creepy fuckers, shall we? Yeah, I think we just bought one. You see something you like there, babe? You like the you like the pussy cats? Well, don't get too carried away with those toys. We're not short of pussies in our house. Sorry, guys, that was a real cheap shot. Okay, where else can we explore? I would like to see Olive Spectre, and I would also like to see the spooky girl that wears pink clothes. That's the Flynn House Hall. Don't give a shit about him. Oh, let's take a look at the Midnight Hollow City Hall. Spooky. Can't really see it very well because of how dark everything is. I wonder where Olive Spectre lives. I bet she lives properly out in the sticks, doesn't she? Okay, I'm just going into Edit Town so I can see who lives where. Oh, here she is. Okay, so if I go here, pretty sure this one was Olive Spectre's house. It doesn't look as eerie as I thought it would. Let's visit the Spectre household. I don't see any gravestones around here. Oh, wait, wait. No, I was wrong. Here they are. Here are all her loved ones. Come on, Scylla Red. We've got to go see the Spectre household. We'll leave the girlfriend at the toy store. I'm sure she can take care of herself. As we drive through the eerie streets of Midnight Hollow. Oh, I think I just saw... I think I just got a glimpse of Olive through the window. Yeah, there she is. Look, I can see her playing the computer while little nervous subject hangs out on the floor. Hey, Olive. What's going on, buddy? I saw your invitation. It's lovely to meet you, finally. I'm not going to stay too long, and I'm definitely not a threat to you, so, you know, don't worry about having to kill me or anything. She looks very grey, doesn't she? She's got, like, uh, a dead look to her, doesn't she? Poor nervous subject. All right, well, let's check out her crib. This is obviously her sitting room, where she plays the computer and neglects subjects. Uh, we've got dining room. Quite a humble kitchen, actually. Bed, bathroom. Looks like Nervous Subject's got quite a nice bedroom, although he only has one toy chest. And then Olive's room. Looking delicious in deep lavender. Intrigued from juicy gossip, so they've just been talking, gassing about all the other people. Fair enough. No, I think I spotted a grave site around here somewhere. I think we should check out the graveyard because I don't know where to find the, um, the girl that, like, wears pink. The girl that comes with the gold version. But maybe, maybe she'll be loitering around the graveyard. I only really wanted to see Olive and see her. So maybe we'll see her at the graveyard. Maybe she has a real deep, tragic backstory. Oh, spooky. Look at all these graves. You are definitely going to see a ghost here. Oh, there's a statue of the Grim Reaper. Okay, I'm guessing they have that statue in all graveyards then, because they had that statue in um, Sunlit Tides as well. Oh, I can get a part-time job working at the graveyard, tour the mausoleum, explore catacombs. Oh, well, sweet. feel like a part-time job in the graveyard would be pretty sick. Yeah, just hanging out at graveyards on Sunday night. Because we're cool. I like that the street lights really barely do much of a job at all. I wonder if there's like a central park place. Like if I wanted to place a seasons festival, could I? I don't think I could, you know. I don't think there is like a central park. It doesn't look like it. It's getting, I mean, it's not that late. But because Midnight Hollow is a 
dark world anyway, it's even harder to see anything, so I might just send her home. I'll come with you for the drive, sure. Take a look around while we go, why not? Yeah, I might send her to bed and then, um, oh hey bubs, and then do some more exploring in the morning. In fact, you know what? Why don't we have a cheeky woohoo while we're here? Those are your pyjamas? Really? I didn't even plan those pyjamas. Oh, silly, you're crazy with your wacky nighttime wear. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a woohoo while we wait for the sun to come up. They make such a cute couple, I think. They really suit each other. It's like the princess and the clown. These two should be a Disney film. So I'm thinking tomorrow we will have a look around the city centre. You know, just go exploring. I'll probably do that on my own. And then maybe we'll go to that spooky, spooky beach. And also I want to find that pink girl. I saw her at the beginning of the video and I think this might be her house. Wait, I'm just gonna peer through her window like a creep. Hmm, nothing in here. She's got the TV on though. That's a waste of electricity, isn't it? I mean, she could be in her bedroom, couldn't she? Is this weird? Is this unethical? Nah, it's only the Sims. No, nope, I don't see anyone. What if we check out her rear end? Anything around here? Mm, I don't see anybody. Maybe she's gone out. This is what I really miss about The Sims 3, being able to spy on neighbors. Oh, you two having a little sleep? Oh, they're cuddling. Oh, cute. Well, maybe in the morning, we will go and visit the Carter household, see if that girl is home. I think her name's Kara. And we'll ask her if she wants to join us on a little trip to the beach. Oh shit, look, everything's gone sepia. Wait, I wanna take a look at the... Everything's pink for the sunrise. Oh, so creepy. Whose house is this? Stuart household. That's a nice house. That's a cute looking house. What does my house look like all built up? Oh, nowhere near as cute. Well, it's 7 a.m. Should we see if we can visit the Carter household? Still got that TV going. Maybe she's in the basement. Maybe she's, like, hiding dead bodies in the basement. She's got to be home. You wouldn't just leave your TV on like that, right? Knock, knock. I can't remember if the, in The Sims 3 if they actually come to the door. <gasps> there she is, yeah. So in The Sims 2, in The Sims 4, they just say, come on in, and then the lot opens. But in The Sims 3, Sims actually answer the door. I completely forgot about that. Yet another small detail. Do you fancy her, Scylla? You like the look of Cara Carter? She seems like someone who has a real story to tell. I think she's meant to be um, inspired by Helena Bonham Carter. Ask about career. Yeah, I want to find out what you do. And then we'll get to know. Don't you walk away from me. Cara is employed in the culinary arts. Oh, you like to cook? Well, that's great, because I like to eat. We should be friends. Okay, let's see if Kara would like to join us on a trip to the spooky, spooky beach. I just got to remember where that beach was. It's not going to be all the way out here, is it? There's quite a lot of twists and turns in this world. That was the graveyard, already been there. Oh, there's a park over here called Gloomy Garden. It does look very gloomy. It looks very gloomy indeed. I really like this world. I don't know if it's the kind of place I would want to play as a family, but I can certainly appreciate the novelty of this place. Oh, here are the beaches. There's Somber Beach and there is Bizarre Beach. Visit Bizarre Beach with... Oh, I can't go with... Maybe I'm not close enough to Kara. Fine, I'll take Daphne. I'll take my second choice. My wife. Well, maybe she'll appreciate it if I take her out somewhere nice. Happy wife, happy life. That's what they say, isn't it? Can I get in the taxi? Can I get in the taxi? Wait, let me pause this because I don't want the taxi to drive away. I want to find out. Oh, shit. I'm in the taxi. I can get in the taxi too. <gasps> I thought this was just a Sims 2 thing. But no, 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 no. You can also get in the taxi in the Sims 3. Man. I have not spent enough time, not even close to enough time, dicking around on The Sims 3. The Sims 3 is the Sims game that I have played the least. 
because I was a full-on Sims 2 addict. And then, um, and then I stopped playing The Sims for a few years. And then I got massively into it again. And it was around the time when The Sims 3 was kind of in its heyday, you know? Like, I want to say 09 till about 2012, 2013. So when I started getting properly back into The Sims again, I only really played The Sims 3 for like a year maybe before The Sims 4 came out. This is the beach. This is Bizarre Beach. They have just a table and chairs in a striped room for some reason. Oh, they've got these little beach houses. I love these. They have these in like, I don't really know if they have them much in America. I've been to a few beaches here, but I haven't seen them. But they have loads of these little hut things on British beaches. Not a blue sky in sight. Just full of mist and cloud. Oh, what are those things hopping up? What are you? Look at these fish. Is that a clownfish? It looks like there's eels. Creepy looking clownfish. So this I really appreciate because this is a spooky world and I very much appreciate the detail of having spooky looking fish in there. Because they might have thought, they might have been sat in the boardroom thinking, guys, do we really want to put the extra effort into putting creepy fish in the sea? No one's going to notice. Well, some people noticed. I noticed and I appreciate that. So the boy is over there, so they have all this space to swim around. Nice, nice. But I do have a short attention span and I'm getting kind of bored of the beach right now. So let's take a look at the map. Okay, let's just see if there's anything else I want to explore. I definitely want to take a closer look at the city center. This bookstore. I really, really like the architecture in this world. I just wish I could see more of it. Like, I get why it's so dark. It's meant to be dark. But I would love to be able to see them in, like, clearer light because the, the colours on these buildings are really pretty. Right, I'm going to send these ladies home because they... I've just realised they kind of live in a prime spot to have a look around. Oh, what does their school look like? That looks like a proper Victorian school, and it's got one of those school bells as well. It kind of reminds me of the primary school I went to. I grew up in a very, very, very old village, and the school was built in, like, I think, I want to say the 1700s. So it was very old-looking. They had, like, a school bell, and, yeah, the school in Midnight Hollow definitely reminds me of my school. Right, ladies... You entertain yourselves for a bit. I'm going to take a look around. Okay, so that's my neighbour's house. Just across the way, we have the city centre. Oh, what's all this about? Look at all this. What is it, though? That's the, I guess, journalism building. Is this all the journalism building? Oh, this entire thing is the journalism building. Even over here? Yeah! This whole section. This whole square here is... Journalism. Let's wander down the mean streets of Midnight Hollow. Oh, there's a ghost. Visit the furniture store. Yeah, I, we will. We will visit the furniture store, actually. We'll see what that's all about. There's a home there for rent. Oh, it looks like these are just homes, are they? Rental homes. Hang on, I just really got to walk down this street. Oh, I fucking love this. I feel like Jack the Ripper could be around any corner. But I also feel a sense of warmth, like maybe this is like Harry Potter, kind of giving me Diagon Alley vibes, you know? So we've got a grocery store there, which is rightly, right opposite my house, so that's super handy. I can just walk to the shop if I need to pick up some biscuits or some fries. Why the fuck are you still swimming? I told you to go... Oh, what's your problem? Get out of here. What is wrong with you? Is she, like, frozen in time or something? Hey, hey, listen to me. All right, you know what, Scylla? Fuck you. Me and Daphne will go to the furniture store. Me and Daphne will see what this is all about. Oh, that's the police station. Like Gotham City police station, isn't it? Is this like the movie theatre? Yeah, oh, it looks so old and haggard. Look. Now, where was that theatre? Is that the toy store? Yeah, oh, we're still so close to the toy store. Here's the furniture place. Okay. I wonder if I can actually go in or if it's going to be a rabbit hole. Come on, Daph. Let's go. I expect Daphne will walk. Oh, okay. Lazy. Oh, yeah, we can go into the furniture store. Okay. 
so we can get some gothic style furniture yes very nice very nice some gothic beds they've even stuck with the gothic aesthetic all this shit you don't see any lime greens or sunshine yellows in here oh no charcoal greys and aggressive lavenders over here very nice very nice well you know what I feel like I've seen about as much of Midnight Hollow as I wanted to. This has been fun. This is definitely one of my favourite worlds. This one is, is up there. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And this will definitely not be the last Sims 3 Worlds video we do. The next one will be Monte Vista because quite a few of you wanted that one. So that one's going to be next. I'll probably make a video on that like next week or perhaps the week after. But that's it from me. So I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.